Well, we got us our new toy here. Bought it yesterday. It's a three foot high snow pusher, 72 inch wide. And because the sides are uh, not flat, there's nothing to go on by levelness, so I'm going to be trying out my leveling rod that I made. Got an I beam hanger, and I welded some rod here onto a onto a collar, and uh, double nutted on each side so that pivots. And the rod comes up. Then I put a weld bead on there and uh, painted it orange. Painted the eye black so it stands up better from the cap, and then that'll uh, that'll let me know when the the big old girl is uh, level. But I don't even think I had ten bucks. I said fifteen earlier, but I, I bought extra eye bolts, different sizes. I didn't want to make two trips, but then when I put my bucket back on, I'll level my bucket, and then I'll put another bead with a different color for my bucket and then I won't have to ever adjust it I'll just go off the two settings but we can see here there it's uh, dumped and the level we just curl it back Get that uh, lined up like we want. And when I set her back down, it's good and level. No guessing. I like that, so I'm pretty excited to try. Uh, $450 for this yesterday. I had bought a skid steer and uh, came with it on it. Sat out in his field for two years. So it was yellow and I uh, painted her yesterday but there ain't much to him. It's heavy duty. Wish we had more snow to play with but it's kind of heavy so beggars can't be choosers. choosers. So, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the girl there, and, um, we're gonna put her to work, but this is just a, this is just a quick little video on my, uh, leveling rod there, nothing fancy, see, like, uh, I don't know, most people watching this would know that, but, they usually put a bend in this right here. Then that tells you where it's level. And then there's a tube down here. And this rod would go in the tube. You tighten it according to put the bend there according to what attachment you have. But then every time you gotta you gotta be out here with a wrench, you know, and readjust it every time. So this way, even though this is sticking up here, I don't know, little ways I guess. Um I don't have a lot of trees or brush or anything I'm going through, so I don't worry about that. But I won't have to adjust anything. I'll just put different notches on the rod for for uh, the different attachments I have. So let's put the big girl to work. She's ready. <laughs> 